Hey, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? It's your favorite neighborhood stoner, Lou. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. If you don't know who Philip Franco is, yeah, he's an old school YouTuber. He's like Shane Dawson, old school, you know what I'm saying? That's that's old school, Rob Rob, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, guys, on today's video, uh, sadly, there is no piff. There is no cannabinoids. There is no devil's lettuce. There is no cabbage. There is no, I don't know, type down other words for weed. I like calling it whiskey. There is no whiskey. Uh, but yeah, no piff on today's video. My uh, medical card has expired. I am currently waiting for it uh, to get renewed. I already went through the whole process and all that jazz. I'm just waiting for my voucher, which will be here in like a week or something. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. But I'm not gonna let that stop me from making a video. Sadly, it's just not gonna be any, uh, any piff. <laughs> but this would be a really good time to talk about a certain topic. Uh, and that topic is resin or yeah, it's resin. I always get resin and rosin confused, even though it's like completely different, but you know, it's, they start with R's and you know, get a little bit confused sometimes. Anyways, so resin, you might be asking yourself, well, Lou, what, what the fuck is resin? Well, dear viewer, resin is the black tar, uh, that is left over from when you consume your cannabis. Now, believe it or not, a lot of people, and nobody's perfect, I'm not perfect, including myself, have uh, fiended over some resin. Maybe not fiended. I mean, I don't know, because fiending means like you want it, right? But it's more the THC. Anyways, yeah, resin. Resin, uh, It's it's a gray area, to be honest. Some people actually save it, and they're like, yeah, resin is my fucking scapegoat, bro. And then there's other people who condemn it. They're like, ah, dude, how you smoke resin, man? It's bad for dogs, bro. Which, they're not, I mean, they're not totally wrong. You're basically smoking tar. Uh, yeah. My view on it is... It's not good for you at all. But there are people that are going to smoke it anyways because it does give you a slight buzz. But it's not uh, euphoric or it's not like, you know, the cat's pajamas. You know, it's not the bee's knees. You feel me? It's more like a uh, last resort kind of thing. It's like when you're mad desperate and you, you're fixing for the like, I need my THC. Uh, sorry for the squeaking, by the way. <laughs> yeah, some people will smoke it. Uh, it's not that hard to, you know, acquire. It's just that black tar on your, uh, on the inside of your bowl. You know, a little bit of heat, a little, uh, little tool, and you can scrape that right off. Uh, I wouldn't recommend smoking it because you are, you will get high. Or, I won't say you'll get high, you'll get a buzz, but it's not... It's not a particularly strong buzz, per se. You're just gonna feel a little bit buzzed. And it's not gonna be like flour. Usually, I mean, everybody's different, but me personally, uh, let me know how long it lasts for you. I mean, I also have been smoking for for a while. Since I was 18, I'm 24 now. Uh, fuck, I lost my train of thought. Um... Weed might last longer for other people, you know? In my case, uh, every time I smoke flour, the high lasts me about three hours, you know, give or take. Um, some people might be different, but it's right around three hours. Um, and uh, oil lasts you about one hour, like if you're uh, hitting the weed pens. Last me about an hour. And then you got the edibles, which are like eight hour trips, which is très magnifique. But, um, 
yeah when it comes to resin you're gonna feel buzzed for like under an hour you know you'll feel something but it's it's not really gonna last you very long uh so let's talk about this you know the high isn't really a high it's more of a buzz it's a short one at that lasting you about like an hour or less it tastes like shit it smells like shit gets everywhere you know what i'm saying like everywhere and it probably might damage your lungs or maybe not i don't know i'm not i'm not a doctor but i mean it's tar if you have a lot of it and that's literally what you are smoking um i don't think that'll be healthy for you uh but you know to each their own if you don't have any piff and you're fucking jonesing for it i'm not your mother or your father or your priest so to each their own i guess but heed my warning bucko that shit will fuck your lungs up right quick and you're gonna probably be smoking a lot of butane if you're smoking it from a pipe or a bong uh some people i've seen people dab that shit and that that's just harsh bro because you're getting that nail mad hot you're dropping tar in that song bitch that's just that's just booty smoke all booty smoke going into your lungs and that's not a good time no no sir bob that is not that, that does not seem like a good time but i'm gonna start getting ready for work uh i think i'm just gonna end the video here to be honest seeing as i i don't have any piff and i think i think i talked about the topic long enough or whatever eh. yeah i think that's all i have to say about uh ro resin or rosin no resin resin let me get my light back up let me hear them on there all right cool uh, so yeah, that's basically all I have to say about the topic. Um, if you have any, uh, negatives or positives about resin, feel free to, uh, lob them in the comments down below. I really do, uh, read your guys' comments, the good and the bad and the ugly. So, yeah, man. Uh, thanks for clicking on the video. Um, sorry I don't have any piff. But uh, my voucher should be here in a couple of days, and I'm gonna try and do like a strain review or something, because I know you guys just wanna see smoke, bro. If you're, if you're subscribing to a weed channel, you wanna see weed-related shit, and I get that. Uh, kinda new to the YouTube scene, so I'm learning, bro, I'm learning. But um, yeah, man, thanks for clicking on the video, and I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, deuces.